What's up, everyone? It's me. I just got um, one of my EOTechs in. The Uncool EOTech. This optic is a piece of shit, according to the internet. The thermal drift is up to like 20 MOA shifts. Even though I've used the shitty old EOTEX and never had an issue. But, uh, yeah. So I got the 558 model. And, uh, I really had a hard time learning um, some of the models for the EOTEX. But this is essentially the, uh, I, I think I've seen mostly like SWAT team type dudes with this one. But uh, this is not going to permanently sit on the PTR. I just wanted to um, try it out. But uh, it takes the double A's and has a night vision feature. I've noticed EOTech will charge like about a hundred bucks more for the night vision. So it came with uh, the little white packaging. And essentially you just get two double A's. And uh, fuck I can't open this back up. Anyway, um, it just comes with two double A's and a few cards. So uh, this model has a quick release latch, the buttons on the side, and takes standard double A batteries. So I, I'm really actually happy with that model. And I also have the um, the shorter one that's like that with that takes a one. Uh, CR-123 battle or battery so uh, it comes with some cards pretty much with a crash course on how to uh, zero it and uh, a product registration so uh, let's look at it let's see if I could catch the reticle on camera there we go so yeah to me in my opinion, this is the best combat reticle in the fucking world. And despite what people say, you know, that's a proven fucking optic right there. To me, I have never had issues. And if I do have issues, I'll definitely let you guys know. And I will definitely take part in EOTech bashing. But one, it is made in America. Not that that means much. But <clears throat> without a shadow of a doubt, if I had to shoot someone as many times as I had to, as fast as I could, I would probably opt for this on about anything save a 308, which it's magically on. Um, about any rifle system, this optic will work great for. So, uh... I'm actually putting the primary arms one um, by six powered uh, ACSS. It's like a DMR scope. And um, this is actually going to go on an AK-74, I believe. Or my, uh, actually I might slap this on my Vepr 545 20 inch RPK. It's going to go on one of those. Um, and then the other, the shorter EOTech, I don't know what I'll put it on. But, uh, and then I have two cheapy red dots. I have a primary arms red dot, which is an aim point clone. And then I have the, uh, Bushnell TRS-25. But, uh, for, like, my underfolder, I don't like, uh, red dots on certain applications. I think some, some weapons just kind of, um work okay with, without um, optics, but this EOTech is definitely an ass kicker in my opinion. All optics have thermal drifts. Some, um, supposedly this has more than the aim point, but the, uh, the Trigicon, I think it's the MRO, has um, comparable thermal drift from what I saw. I Don't quote me on that, but uh, I just really like it. It's, you know, you don't have to get your your neck and everything in a perfect place. You hold both eyes open. You don't have the shitty ass tube effect from the uh, aim point 
optics and I mean that's just you're just gonna nail someone you could also range estimate with with this uh, reticle on there you can't really range estimate with the aim point style and you're still stuck with it too now give it I'll give the uh, aim point is a decent optic though it's it's durable and the battery life lasts forever but other than that I believe that uh, Aimpoint is a uh, victim of their success like like Trigicon or Glocks they don't change much <coughs> so uh, to me um, a couple double A's even in some apocalyptic shit um, you're gonna be able to find those in a, in the damn old remote controller most likely um, now the little CR123 model that I have I have a um, some rechargeable CR123s system I, I've never made a video on that I guess I might do that um, but uh, you can actually find those even in emergency situations you can actually find CR123 batteries even when uh, when stores are mostly cleared out believe it or not so uh, yeah I'm happy with this if you I'm not I'm not bashing aimpoint or anything I just I really like the reticle and I like the uh, not just the reticle but the field of view it really just fits my need and it goes really good with the uh, with the G3 style rifles I thought you can mount optics really low when I mounted my TRS-25 so I'm glad I got some good uh, American Defense uh, quick detached scope rings that are AR height but um, I, I actually think these are good on even AKs and they're Ivan approved so uh, people may bash this reticle and the uh, this optic but uh, it is proven it is combat proven optic and no one really had any issues with thermal drift until that bullshit uh, came out last year now did they deserve to get scrutinized yes because they would advertise um, that they were parallax free and all this and you know but they they definitely like any other optic have thermal drift and they definitely um they definitely have parallax um and another thing is uh, the marines didn't get rid of their eotex because um they said that the marines if they're ever in that bad of climates um they'd probably go to iron sights anyway so uh i i really think that the uh, all the tactical tight t-shirt wearing guys bashing this optic are probably getting free aim points or they are um there, there's some nefarious reason why they dislike them but uh i've seen more aim points go down than i have eotex but that's probably because um the ones that i've seen go down are old ass army aim points that have been through hell and back but uh, I've just had good luck with them. The Trigicon is probably more durable than all three combined, or, or EOTEX and Endpoint combined. A the ACOG's great, but they're hard and slow when you're engaging multiple targets. And um, they have a few weaknesses. All optics have weaknesses. But uh, for me, I've found this is the best um, to fit my needs. And it takes double A's night vision compatible I, I just like it it's, it's a damn good reticle damn it looks weird on this this fucking camera so uh anyway thanks for listening this is Sly Tiger take care